guys, welcome back. This is Pretty Accomplished. And today I'm showing you how I detangle my hair after I take down the sew-in. So I just took down my sew-in. I had it um, only in for four weeks, which is a big deal to me because I normally keep my sew-ins in for three months. So only four weeks, big deal for me. But my scalp just felt kind of itchy. It didn't feel um, the way it typically does. Normally I have no issues with my scalp. But since it was feeling funny, I would rather be safe than sorry. I was like, let me just take the sew-in down and, you know, treat my scalp or do whatever my hair needs. So, here we are. Um, it's late, so tonight I won't be washing my hair, but I at least wanted to do the detangling process now so that in the morning I could just get up and wash and finish my routine. So, what I like to do um, to detangle my hair, first and foremost, is... I separate my hair into two big sections. So this part is pinned up. You will need some type of clip or ponytail holder. Secondly, I use my spray bottle. This is just a mixture of different things. Um, and I spray my hair just to dampen it. Now I've already done this off camera, but I'm just showing you guys kind of how I do it. And at the time that I do that, I kind of go through my hair like this. And I'm trying to get like any big tangles out. Um, the majority of the shed hair, things like that, that cause more tangling. My texture tends to be coarser at the bottom, so I pay a special attention to that area as well. And so there is some shed hair coming out, and I just take that off my hand. So after you do the detangling process with your fingers and you're kind of separating the hair, you want to make sure all the thread is out, all the big tangles and knots are out. What you do from there is take this one big section and break it down into two sections. You don't need a part or a perfect part or a comb for this. You just want to break it down into two sections. When you get your two sections, clip the section you're not working with out of the way. Okay, so now I am just working with this back piece. And so again, I'm going to wet this section. And you don't have to use like a, a special uh, mixture. You could just use plain water on this step. You could use a mixture of water and conditioner. And you could also use an oil at this time too. Just anything that's going to provide um, additional slip. Even though I've broken this section down uh, smaller, I'm still kind of going through with my fingers first before I use any type of comb on my hair. I will be using a comb, but I like to saturate my hair and get all the tangles out as much as possible before using the comb. Now, this is another mixture. This one actually has conditioner in it, so I'm going to um, spray my hair with this as well. Don't forget the ends. And I can already start to feel the difference in how my hair is feeling with the combination of that mixture and then applying the conditioner to it. It's already being, it's becoming very soft. And that is going to make it easy, easier for me to detangle. Now, because I am going to wash in the morning and I like to, um, Get conditioner in my hair before I wash to make this step a little easier and to kind of get my pre poo in. I am going to grab my favorite conditioner at the moment, which is the Suave Humectant. Great conditioner. I got this big bottle for only a dollar and it was a great buy. So, a little bit in your hand, rub it together, and you're going to apply it to the section. Now, you don't have to do this, you can use the products that you have, the products that you like. Um, you don't even have to use conditioner. You can use a cream, you can use an oil, you can just use water. You know, you can tweak this for you. I'm doing all of this because I felt like my hair needs it. It has been um, put away for some time and I want to make sure that I am as gentle as possible with the detangling process. So now that I feel like I can detangle without causing any 
excessive breakage or any unnecessary breakage. I am starting at the bottom and I hold the hair taut out like this with my hands and I want to make sure that the tangles are out at the bottom. And as I detangle, I just work my way up the hair shafts. And this is a wide tooth comb. A lot of people during this step may use like a dimming brush or something like that. I do not own a dimming brush, never have. Um, the whole time I've been natural. Not saying that I never will, but I just don't see a need for it at this point, so I don't have one. But you could use that in lieu of the comb. And some people may skip the comb altogether and just use their fingers. So each is own, but no matter what you're doing to detangle, just make sure you have enough product in your hair so that it's really moisturized and it can slip um, the comb, your fingers, or whatever can slip through. You guys know what I mean. So this part is pretty much almost detangled. I can get the comb through um, easily. I'm going to apply a little bit more conditioner. I want to make sure it's evenly distributed on my whole section. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with the way that section has turned out. Um, got most of the tangles out, removed most of the shed hair, and I think I'm good to go. So at, that, at this point, you could um, twist it or braid it just to get it out the way. I'm just going to twist. And I'm going to repeat these steps um, on the remaining sections. Now the front of my hair, this part up here that you see that are already in twist, that was my leave out, so I'm not really including that in this process. Um, but this is what the twist will look like when you're done. So just one little twist, and that's just to keep it up out the way. And then I move on to the section that I pinned up. I'll just repeat the same steps with this section. 